How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Destiny 2 video and in this video I'm going to be telling you whether or not it's worth you buying the Black Armory DLC with the annual pass. As you're aware you can't buy the DLC on its own, you do have to go all in and invest in the complete annual pass itself that also brings the Joker's Wild and the Penumbra DLC. So if you find this useful a like would be greatly appreciated and don't forget to subscribe. The Black Armory DLC is pretty much a end game content. It is a horde mode of two rounds and a boss at the end. That's pretty much all it is. There are four of these and you get a raid. In terms of content available, it was originally locked out, but Bungie did quite good in actually rescinding that and making it a little bit easier and more accessible for everyone. So in that regard, it's actually now accessible and everyone can now take part. That's at least 600 power within the Forge content. That being said, there is additional content. After you've completed the Forge, you go and speak to Ada, and Ada then enables some bounties. You get two new additional weekly bounties, one that requires you to complete a set number of bounties, which reward you with reports, I'll get onto that in a minute, and another one that requires you to go into the Forge and do X amount of number of completions. Pretty much exactly the same as the Dreaming City with the Blind Well and the Bounty system. It's a copy and paste, exactly the same. With that out the way, what do these bounties offer? Well, the bounties offer reports. You use four of these reports to buy a weapon schematic. You get the weapon schematic, look at the objective, you go out into the open world, you complete the objective, complete the bounty, and you get an augmented weapon. Each bounty is restricted to its own criteria, so you have a Crucible, one a Vanguard, one a Gambit, one a Dreaming City one. You've even got a Destination one. So if you're looking for a Gambit-based weapon, you can go you can collect the gambit one and you'll get an augmented version of a gambit weapon it is random as you would expect but at least there is some way of narrowing it down in terms of what you get this here in my opinion is the bulk of the dlc the forge is nice but once you've completed it the first time and you've done your weekly bounty you pretty much won't be going back in there for the rest of the week because there's really no point the bounties however do have a point and you get 28 reports in total a week which means you can pretty much do this repeatedly over and over again and try your luck for that god rolled weapon. Along with these, every week when you complete your two weekly challenges, you get to forge two exclusive weapons that are specifically powerful rewards. Again, these are pretty nice and will aid you in your journey to get to 650. That being said, as of last night, someone already hit 650 before the raid even came out, that pretty much shows you how broken the progression system in this game actually is. But aside from that, you also have the raid, as I've mentioned, coming on the 7th. The 7th brings along the second forge, and then we have another two more forges coming along. So in total, the Black Armory DLC will give you four forges, one raid, and that's pretty much it, and a ton of replayability in terms of bounties. If you remember the Arms Day in Destiny 1 that took place every Wednesday, this is pretty much it, but you can pretty much pick up all the bounties if you have enough reports and complete all of them and get all of them without any restriction. That's pretty much the only difference between Arms Day and this, and in my opinion, this is not so bad and it keeps you doing stuff. Thanks to this one edition, I believe that that changed my overall perspective of the DLC. Along with this, it's rumored that we're supposed to be getting a dungeon but of course, I'm not 100% sure on this, so I can't say with any certainty that that's coming. We just know it's been data mined, but it could be for Joker's Wild and not for Black Armory. So is this DLC worth your time? The answer is maybe. There is enough content here and enough repayability to warrant the £10 purchase. You've got the bounties, you've got the mod components, which is a big thing by the way. The fact that Bungie hid it behind Ada the Black Armory NPC for the mod components is probably the scummiest thing they've done so far. That should have been on Banshee and would have given him much needed purpose. But instead, they decided to go full scum and actually place it behind a paywall. Bungie, that is so not cool. I don't care what you say. The fact is, in the open world right now, there is no real way of getting this component and the fact that you hid it behind a paywall just shows how far behind times you really are it it just makes me sick honestly it really does to think that you would stoop this low to go to this depths 
to try to force people to buy your expansion. You don't have to force people. There is enough content here to make it worthwhile if you're 600 power. If you are not 600 power and you are somewhere in the region of around 520, 530, 540, 550, then this expansion, this DLC is not for you. I shouldn't call it an expansion because it's not an expansion. All it is is four forges, a raid, a potential dungeon, and a plethora of replayable bounties. Totally worth your money, but if you aren't at 600 power and cannot utilize the bounties and the reward scheme, the reward system to boost you to around 607, 608, this DLC right now is not for you. And I would say wait, watch some videos, and see if this content is something that you will enjoy. You can still hit 650 power through the Prime Engram exploit. The player that hit 650 didn't do it on his own. He he pretty much exploited the Prime Engram system, which Bungie is in full endorsement, by the way. Cha-ching! But with that said, it is totally possible without this DLC to hit 650. You won't be getting the raid. And if you're not interested in the raid, then all you have is four horde modes with a slight mechanic of throwing a ball into a canister. That's pretty much it. So, final verdict. Is it worth buying? At 600? Yes, there is enough content here to keep you tied over for the next few months. At least for the next month or so anyway. If you're at 520? No. Anything below 580? No. Because you can't take part in the content. The content is completely locked out to you. Period. You can't even do the bounties because they're locked out to you. You have to do the forge first in order to access the bounties. I mean, what tub, what dumbass came up with that idea? I mean, this is completely dumbass. Seriously, there is no reason why this should have been this way. You should have had access to those bounties from day one. But instead, they gated it so you don't have access to them. And with that said, in my opinion, unless you're high enough, this DLC is simply not for you. And that's pretty much my verdict. I hope you've enjoyed this, and if you have, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and until next time, remain legend.